Hey guys, what's up? I got my brother here! Hey, how's it going? We're gonna answer some of your manly questions I just tweeted right now, asking you guys to, get, you know, ask us questions for advice. We're gonna, um... Try to answer them to the best of our ability. Yeah! We've got a lot of manly knowledge, and we want to spray it all over. Just spread the knowledge. We're gonna impregnate you with our mind. Um, personally, uh, I would rather not look like a ten-year-old boy, so it, it doesn't bother me. Uh, for a lady, you know, whatever. Doesn't matter to me. Well, I feel like if you're a lady, you should not have a hairy chest. As you can see, Matt has this thick, dense forest of chest hair, whereas I do not. Supreme manism. <laughs> um, for me, you just kinda gotta be yourself and be happy, and that's really all you should have to do. You smell know? nice. Th th there you go. S s smell nice. Well, I think what your problem is, is you're adding too much sugar. And you should also use a good ratio of shortening and butter. I was just going to say, don't cook them with fire. <laughs> I like your answer a lot better. <laughs> well, you see, amongst men, there is a secret code where we try to impress each other by eating the grossest, weirdest food. And whoever eats the most gross, weird food is dubbed king of the gross, weird food. I've seen Matt eat some pretty nasty stuff. Did I, did I impress you? Yes. There we go. Um, have you tried showing it a bunch of cubes? Possibly dress up as Shia LaBeouf, hold a cube, and, I mean, what car can resist a good cubing, hmm? And while you're doing that, make sure you insult your car vigorously and turn your radio knobs a bunch. Yeah, yeah I, th I think they like that. Well, personally for me, if somebody were to come up to me wearing a nice dress or blouse made of bacon, you pretty much got my... I'm going for it. For me, you just use your mouth. And by that I mean use your words. Well, you gotta stroke the belly. You can't focus all on the back. You get that belly rubbing, they love you. Not enough of this. More of this. It's gonna be cat hair everywhere. <laughs> okay, uh, okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? My dong. <laughs> My dong who? Doesn't matter. <laughs> what are we gonna do about this? <laughs> I think that if I were to go with one, I'd say, hey, did you from, fall from... Ah, oh, shit. If I was going to go with one, I'd say, hey, did you fall from the sky? Because my thighs hurt. <laughs> what you want to do is you want to find somebody who's in the circus. Preferably somebody who breathes fire. And you just kind of hang your face out there for a bit. And eventually you're going to catch a big flame right in here. And you won't have any trouble growing hair in this little area for a little while anyway. I would also suggest not using any sort of shaving cream or soap. Just do it right dry against the grain with the, fire. The biggest, dullest blade you could find usually helps as well. Rust. Yep. Rust too. You should have a, at least 20% rust. <sighs> Ugh, I burped. <laughs> if you've got skin here by the time you're done, you're just not doing it right. Yeah. Well, I don't know about in other countries, but here in Canada, we have a certain tradition. It's called the shovel your driveway mating display. What you do is you shovel your driveway, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And you're good. Nothing invites the ladies in more than a, a clean driveway. I tricked him into being naked because I told him he was invisible. I gave him I gave him a mint and was like, this will get you invisible. He believed it. He took his clothes off. I got him to go down in, in front of the people. In front of our family. We got all muddy. Yeah. And our grandmother wanted us to take our clothing off to clean up. <laughs> and we refused, so we sat in a closet and formed a band. I think there was a lot of times we were just naked at grandma's house. Yeah, usually... It's just involved us being naked. Family dinner, naked at grandma's house. Yep. Going fishing, better get naked at grandma's house. It's time for a bath, don't get naked at grandma's house. <laughs> yeah, don't ever get naked at grandma's house. <laughs> you drank that big thing of nasty liquid. Which brings <laughs> us back to eating gross foods. We've just been caught peeing and pooping where we shouldn't have been peeing and pooping. I, f I feel like the ladies don't get the full experience of being able to pee wherever you want to pee without just getting it everywhere. Everywhere. It's an amazing thing. Really? awkward stuff. Uh, yeah, I can't think of anything really awkward. Um, we'll see how many t-shirts I can put on. Yeah, you, get, get some t-shirts. Yeah, you listen to free-formed acoustic bongos. I've lost track of how many shirts you've been putting on. <laughs> <laughs> so why did, why did we do this? Well, I, there was this girl I really liked, and uh, we we're over at my dad's house, and for some reason, we went into their bedroom <laughs> and started Doing the do. And the whole time my dad was in the hallway cheering me on. <laughs> and that is the weirdest sex dream I've ever had. 
Yeah, you can't stop that. Can no, you? no. <laughs> I, I can't even think of a, a weird sex dream I've had. Probably one where I banged a pineapple or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's more of a lonely sex dream. <laughs> Being 15 is a very awkward stage in your life. That's it's when your body starts blossoming. And when um, you start eating weird food to try to impress your friends. Yeah, uh, so I guess my tip is eat the grossest stuff you can find. Everybody's gonna love you for it. Oh yeah. And um, use deodorant. That's a big key. Especially if you're doing the show. <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, we're because not. Because I'm not. We're not horrible people. Yeah. Whoa! Or snake, because a snake won't chew you up. You could just rip through a snake, like a, like a kind of like a leather curtain, I assume. If I'm gonna go, I want it to be brutal. So I'd like it to be done by a wolf. So I hope you guys enjoyed our, our video on advice for the dudes. It was some of it was for the ladies too, I guess. Uh, we're just you know we're so manly. Sometimes we need to help people with our manliness. We need to just spread it if all I, around. If we can use our manliness for things other than lifting weights, um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a good day. Do you, do you even have a Twitter? Make one. Follow him on Twitter! Make one right now. Why don't we have the same last name? Because my mom made it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so he's made a Twitter and his link is gonna be in the bottom there. So you, you can go find it. No, is this the area in which it'll be in? Ah, oh, it's a little lower. A little lower, more over... No, I don't. <laughs> also, his YouTube channel will also be in the link down below, so you should go subscribe to him, and he's going to be making videos. I've convinced him. And um, I, I guess I will see you guys on Tuesday.